All right, everyone, welcome to the voting machine hacking village. Few things here. First of all, everything you have here in the room is in use in somewhere in the United States. This is DEF CON, the biggest hacker convention on the planet. People are here trying to break into car computers, satellites, and in this hall, election machines. And these people make it look easy. Oh, well, we got a username and password. Whoa, oh. no joke. You got a plain text password. Yeah, yeah, right here. Oh. Whoa! The, okay, the username is root and the password is password. Now, most of the stuff that's happening in here wouldn't happen in the real world. I mean, good luck getting the lady at your local polling station to let you pop the hood of a voting scanner and connect a keyboard to it. And despite all the conspiracy theories, there is zero evidence that the 2020 presidential elections were hacked. But that doesn't mean something couldn't happen in the future. So these hackers are here to scare everyone just enough to take things seriously. How did you get into this thing, though? With a screwdriver. With a screwdriver. Yeah, a screwdriver. I, 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 I just, okay. Software-wise, how did you get into it? Uh, uh, keyboard. keyboard. Then you just press the Windows key. Yeah, yeah just, you throw it up keyboard. Just, yeah. Re rewind that for me. I'm sorry. You plugged in a keyboard and you hit the Windows key? Yeah. 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 <laughs> and that's it. And you're in. As weird as it might sound, everyone's here to help. Hackers think this stuff is fun. And anyone who finds a security flaw reports it to the staff. And they take that to the relevant officials. Whether they listen is another story. But either way, if you're an election official, this stuff's all pretty nerve-wracking. So what, what brings you to DEF CON? Yeah, so I started coming to DEF CON about three years ago. Okay. In 2018, and I was invited to come and I was absolutely terrified. And I think that's healthy. Why are you scared? Because there are some amazing people out there. So I've taken a lot of what I've learned here and applied it to increase the security in Ingham County. This is what my nightmares are made of right here. The people in this room? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Some people might assume that protecting elections means buying newer and faster computers. But actually, experts are more concerned with teaching good digital hygiene. Making sure officials know the basic stuff. Like, you know, not using password as the password for a voting scanner. In fact, educating officials like Barb Byram is probably one of the best investments we could make in terms of election security. After we met at DEF CON, Byram invited me back to her home district in Michigan to show me what precautions she was already taking. When you go to DEF CON, you don't see the seals everywhere, all the signatures from mm -hmm. all of the precinct workers. You don't see the locks, the security key. You're not, you're not seeing that. But after meeting those hackers, she's not playing around with the technical stuff either. None of these machines ever connect to Wi-Fi, and everything is recorded on paper ballots to allow for a recount by hand, just in case. But poll workers are the first line against technological attacks. So she's made sure to educate them, too. Some of the ways that I've learned to mitigate my risk is by going to DEF CON um, and hanging out with people that terrify me. These laptops are wiped before every election. Can these connect to the internet at all? Absolutely not. It's like that simple stuff. Thumb drives, if you find them in the parking lot, don't you dare come near any of my computers with that thumb drive that you found in the parking lot. But modern election security isn't just about spies in foreign countries trying to matrix their way into precinct computers. The bigger dangers are the unhinged conspiracy theories that make people want to do stuff like this. Joe Biden is not even certified in one single of the 50 states. And it's not just weirdos in Viking hats anymore. Remember what I said about the lady at the polling station letting you open the voting machine? Well, in Byram's own state, a voting machine straight up went missing. But this wasn't a hacker. A QAnon following election official refused to hand over a piece of voting equipment to officials. The police ended up having to search her office to get it back. Vice News reached out to her for comment, but she didn't respond. By the way, she still has her job. I'm seeing all of these things you're doing to secure the election, and yet the call is coming from inside the house. What do you do about that? You can lock up these computers all you like. Mm -hmm. Can you fix the misinformation problem? Is there something you can do about that? I can just continue to try to correct um, in in corrections, try to correct the, the conspiracies. But every time we address one conspiracy, a new one comes. Mm -hmm. And it's just constant. When I see something, I call it what it is. And so I've called out 
some of those conspiracy believers that are considering running, well, actually act, actively are running for Secretary of State in our state. Mm -hmm. One of them's at the QAnon conference recently. Some of the alarm bells I've been trying to sound are, we have these conspiracies, we have conspiracy believers, they are running to be the next election official. It occurs to me that you, you have two jobs, mm -hmm. right? One is to make sure that the elections are safe and secure. Yeah. That's one, it's a technical job, mm -hmm. shall we say. You have another job, I think, which is a little bit more delicate, which is to ensure the people who live in the community and across the nation, I guess, that the, the election is safe and secure. That one seems a lot more delicate and a lot more difficult. Mm -hmm. How's that part of your job going right now? That is um, not great. Really? I mean, people think the election was rigged in mm -hmm. 2020. There's been no proof of a conspiracy. Mm -hmm. The big lie is just that, a lie. And what pains me is because of this lie, this conspiracy that keeps getting pushed, people aren't gonna turn out to vote because they're gonna think, mm -hmm. my vote doesn't matter. And that couldn't be any further from the truth. Is there anything I could do in this room that would mess something up right now? With the election? Yes. Could I tamper with anything in here and screw something up? You could tamper up? with stuff, but we would find out. <laughs> How do you know? Uh, because the board of canvassers, my board of canvassers is very thorough. So we would find out. Um, if you were tampering with the election system, we would find out because we, we test it. With the VAT, the voter assist terminal, yeah, have fun. I mean, <laughs> we we test everything. And mm -hmm. in Michigan, we have paper ballots. So you could mess with stuff here, um, but it would be caught. Mm -hmm. And if you're going to mess with an election, this is not where you do it. It's just not. Mm -hmm. And if people don't want to believe uh, in the credibility of our elections, for someone like me, that I'm your neighbor. Like, our kids go to school together. I'm not going to mess with the elections. And if, and if people don't trust their local clerk, and they don't trust other clerks, mm -hmm. we have a far bigger problem um, because our democracy is starting to crumble.